Hello, this is Mike Krug with Finale Inventory. In this video, we're going to show you how to install the mobile barcode scanner on your computer. We're going to get the Finale Data Collector software downloaded from our website and onto that handheld. And we're going to get it all integrated together and set up and ready for you to use. So where we start with this is log into your Finale Inventory account and get to your home screen and we're going to go ahead and show you kind of what we're talking about so the mobile barcode scanner I'm gonna see if I can bring this up to you you buy that from one of our partners and we will send you uh, links to get to that so once you get it you may get it from them and it kinda of looks like this with uh, when you get it out of the package so I'm gonna so show you how to set this up and get it interacting with your computer so first things we need to put the battery in so they may ship it without the battery normally so I'm just going to show you the battery has a tab on one end so you can kind of see the tab on this end and there's no tab on this end so just simply put the 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 end with the tab towards the bottom of the device and snap it in so that parts easy and then you're going to see the the cover the cover has these little um, wings on them or little uh, latches so we're going to put the the bottom of the cover on first. So we put the bottom on the cover first and then uh, make sure the, the little tabs are pressed out. And we're just going to press it in. So this can kind of be a little bit uh, difficult. And once you get it pressed in, just turn the, uh, the two tabs down. And you've got your power to the handheld all connected up and it's ready to power up. So to power it up, just simply press the red button and it should light up and give you to the Windows home screen. So the next piece to this is you should have gotten with your um, scanner a, a USB cradle. So this will plug into the bottom of the unit for connecting it to your computer and also provides the power to charge it. So the other end of this cable looks like this. So it's a USB connection with also a power injector. So this is where the power adapter goes so you can actually charge the unit. So you'll want to take that step and get that charger, that charger cable and go ahead and plug it into the Y so that now you have uh, power available to the unit. So the next step you want to do is to take your USB connection and plug it into your computer. I'll do that now. and we'll get that into a free USB port and then I want you to notice that uh, now we're ready to actually connect it to the computer so we'll just simply connect it to the cradle okay so we've plugged it in and now this is going to fire off your drivers uh, in Windows so Windows right now is going to load up the drivers so I'll show you kind of what that's going to um, entail but Windows, uh, this is a, an 8.1 machine, so it'll be very similar on Windows 7. But at the moment, the computer should be loading the drivers for it. In the background, sometimes it's uh, hard to see, but uh, you may see sometimes some uh, driver loading activity here in your system notification area. All right, so you probably heard uh, Windows uh, recognize that the USB was plugged in. So right now it's kind of uh, should be in the background loading up the uh, program called Windows Mobile Device Center which is going to load the Windows drivers. Once that gets loaded uh, it normally fires off. So I believe Windows has actually loaded in the uh, drivers. So the next step that we need to do is to uh, actually connect to the um, the handheld unit. So we're going to go to first to add the integration to your account. So we're going to go to add-ons and integrations and you'll notice that by default you may not have any integrations here. So you need to go to the action menu and choose install mobile barcode scanner integration. Now once we get this integration installed to your account you're going to go to the barcode scanning screen. 
So you can get there from this link here, but it's also the same. It's just going to the home. We're going to go to barcode scanning. So once we see the barcode scanning screen, this is where we're going to actually connect to the mobile scanner. And we're going to use this connect to docked mobile scanner. Next, the um, browser is going to uh, inform you that you need to install a Finale Inventory Chrome extension, which is um, a program that uh, runs in uh, the Google Chrome browser, and it will interact with another program that we will download, uh, Finale, the Finale Windows application. So let's go ahead and install that. It's going to ask you to add the extension to Chrome. We're going to go ahead and add it. And you'll see that the extension has been successfully added to your Chrome browser. Next, we need to download the actual Finale Inventory Windows application, which is going to talk to that extension. So we do that just by simply clicking on this link. And it will download in your browser. Now, you will see this sometimes. Sometimes you might get a warning here that says uh, it's not a commonly downloaded program. That's okay. Just click on this little arrow here and say keep. And once it finishes downloading, you can click on this to actually run it. And then the Finale Inventory Setup Wizard will run. So now we just need to take the defaults. You can uh, uh, choose uh, for everyone if you'd like and hit next and run through that. You're going to get a little warning from your computer for user account control. It's okay. Say yes. And that's as simple as it was. So you can see that we've been successful in installing all the necessary programs to actually get it to work with your computer and get it to interface with our browser application. So the next step is to actually connect to the device. We're just going to use this button here that says connect to pocket PC. Once we uh, connect, you can see that uh, the browser is telling you you need to update the actual scanner software, which is what we call the Finale Data Collector. So this first screen button is actually going to download the Finale Data Collector software to the handheld device. So let's go ahead and update the scanner software. That's actually loading the actual software that runs on the handheld. So now that we're successful, we just hit continue. The next button you're going to be uh, presented with is the button to, to download all of your accounts, your product IDs, your stock levels, your purchase orders, and your sales orders, and so on. So this is actually going to download that to the handheld itself. So we press that and we let it do its thing and we are done. So at this moment we have successfully connected the scanner to the computer, we've installed the, um, the Windows drivers, we've um, connected the, to the browser, we've uh, added the Google extension, we've installed the Finale Windows application that actually talks to the browser, we've connected to the handheld itself, we installed the Finale Data Collector software on the unit itself, and we've updated the data from the cloud that um, actually lets the scanner know all about your inventory. So there's another critical piece that we need to address to get this handheld ready for you to actually use. And that's right here in the action menu. We configure the data collector integrator and we're going to set what happens to when you do actually sync data from the handheld back to the cloud. So if you use the handheld to do a stock take or a pick or add stock or do a transfer, when you actually complete that, you actually have to connect and synchronize. Well, this screen here is going to set what happens to those transactions. By default, they're all set to draft. So we're going to set these to a preference so that when you synchronize, there's no more action that you need to do. So if you want to leave it in draft, you can, but that means you'll have to go to a specific uh, transaction and actually approve it. But I'm going to go ahead and set these to um, actually commit them. So we're going to set the purchase shipment to be received. We're going to set the transfer shipment to be received. 
we're going to set a sales shipment to be actually shipped and a return to be received. Stock takes, we're going to commit them. Stock adds, we're going to commit those. And stock changes or subtracts, we're going to commit those. So now we have successfully set how the scanner is going to interact with the cloud once we do a sync. So I want to show you moving on to the actual handheld itself. So let's say, well, now that you've uh, actually installed some software, let's see, well, what do we do with this? So if we want to see what we've done, we're going to actually uh, take the stylus out here and we're going to go to the Windows Start menu. So that's right up here. And then the next thing you do is, well, how do we run this application? So you need to go to the programs and then right here in the program menu you should see Finale Data Collector. We're going to press that and that will bring up the Finale Data Collector software. And that's about it. So if you need to close or get to the main menu you can use the X. That does not exit the program but I want you to notice this time as you go to start you're going to see Finale Data Collector in the menu right here. So you can return and get right back to it. That's the simple steps to get up and running with the Finale Data Collector software.